Hello, everybody! My gosh, you guys, we finished watching the entire Rock of Love series. We made it. <laughs> we survived. <laughs> so now it's time for the reunion episode, which is usually the funnest episode of the season. Now, as we know, if you saw my last episode, spoiler alert, Taya <laughs> wins. I know I wasn't the safe choice in all this, but I was the right choice, and I think he felt it along the line. I know I felt it when there were 13 girls around. Taking you with me. Let's go. Literally nobody was happy about it, but I think Penthouse paid for the whole season, and so of course he was gonna win. It was rigged from the beginning. Now, of course, hosting our reunion episode, we have everybody's least favorite uncle, Ricky Raccoon. Hey everybody, I'm Ricky Rackman. This is the Rock of Love Bus Reunion Special. It's been over a year since we gathered on this very stage, hoping that Brett's search for love was finally at an end. But it was not to be. Again. He seems so tired compared to the first two. <laughs> like, he seems like he does not want to be there. He's probably like, Jesus, how many of these are we gonna do? Amber and Brett split convinced him that the only way to find a girl who could truly handle his rock and roll lifestyle was by taking his women on the Rock of Love bus solo tour. So he gathered 23 beautiful women, a fleet of tricked out buses, and traveled across the country rock star style. Now this one is already so much more polished than the first two reunion episodes. It's a lot less cheesy. Tonight we'll relive the thrills. I don't recognize you two, you have clothes on. And skills. Be careful. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That made this season unforgettable. And we'll reunite him with a girl that he chose to see if his search is finally at an end. Racky Rickman names all the lovely ladies from the third season. Please welcome the women of the Rock of Love bus. Ashley, Natasha, Jamie, Brittany, Megan, Nikki, Beverly, Tara, Marissa, Kelsey, Heather, Marcia, Gia, Yugi, Tanya, Samantha, Maria, Marcy, Constantina, Jennifer, and Cameron. Everyone looks so different. What the hell? I had to rewind. I was like, wait, holy shit, Kelsey, what? She looks so different. Looks like she spent her rock of love money on some extensions. And of course, the most pretty of them all, Big John is also here. The man, the myth, the legend, Big Jonathan. <laughs> AKA Big John, time to bring out Brett. He's had 15 top 40 hits, sold 25 million singles, and he's dated what seems to be at least 300 chicks. <laughs> Mr. Brett Michaels. Why does it look like they filmed this 10 years later? Brett got his little pirate goatee in full force. He literally looks like Jack Sparrow with the hair and the braid and the bandana and the face. Well, Brett, it seemed like you had a lot of requirements for the perfect lady. She had to be sensual, she had to be beautiful, she had to be spiritual. And of course, it was probably better if she hadn't taken a vow of celibacy before coming on the show. Probably not the best thing. We're gonna take a look back at the ladies, starting with Constantina. So show me your sexiness and whatever you wanna be. Okay. I'm from the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. God, that is hot. That is Taj Mahal. Wow, this girl has a sexual charge going on and it's aimed at yours truly. I don't think Brett could handle a woman like her. Constantina, come on up here. Your arm matches my tie, I like that. Yeah. So I guess the first question that America wants to know is, are you still celibate? No, in fact, I'm married. <laughs> oh my, she left the show and immediately got married. That's amazing. The thing is, Brett misunderstood. I came on the show because I was ready to come out of my vow and I was looking for the right person to bring me Whoa. out of it. <laughs> Dang, Brett could have tapped and he didn't even know. <laughs> I think Brett's a very spiritual person, very spiritual person. I think he gets distracted by the physical realm a little bit. And right. I, I, if you don't mind, I would like to give him a reminder. May I? Yes, please. What is it? Constantina gives Brett a little present. Oh, that's awesome. I now have a fourth eye. I, I was being funny, but yes, thank you. You are a wonderful spirit, and I don't ever want you to forget that. Thank you. 
Rigby Rankin asks the ladies some interesting questions. Has anybody left Rock of Love and then got engaged? Have any of you girls left Rock of Love and gotten married already? <laughs> Have any of you girls wow. left Rock of Love and already pregnant? <laughs> I can't even remember who that is at this point. She must have left early. For more than a few of the girls, the Rock of Love thus seemed to be running on alcohol. Mm. Let's take a look. <laughs> Mucho gusto. Let's look back at our Brazilian party girl, Marcia, and some other drunkards. I love to party. I love tequila. That's my drink of choice. Wow, Marcia's kiss was smoking hot. Tasted just like Doritos. Oh, excuse me, I'm drinking a little. The alcoholics are gonna join Bright on stage and talk about making out after puking. There was a tinge of a kicker in there that was a little different. At least I had some Doritos before. Yes. I stopped drinking. You stopped drinking? Completely. And what about you, DJ Lady Tribe? I learned to be sober and I'm doing well now. Seems like the show influenced two of them to get sober. That's good. I'm proud of you guys. And clearly they gave you lots and lots of alcohol to make you act like fools because it's on television and they want to entertain us. What do you get when you mix alcohol, silicone, and just a little bit of attitude? You know what? A real lot of attitude. We call it the Blancherage. Heck yes, it's time for the Blancherage. Can we give a group kiss real quick? Mm -hmm. We can do a yeah, let's let's do a, 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 a three-way. <laughs> <laughs> they made it entertaining, that's for sure. Here's my tray. Cut, film, here. Bitch. Bitch in She's the pulling me. I can't even spell elimination. Good times. So Ringo calls down the Blontourage, but also calls up Melissa. Maybe she was in the OG Blontourage? You, you gotta sit over here. Who is this girl? All right. Who's this? What the French? All right. Who's Melissa? Melissa? Go ahead. She was? <laughs> she popped her boob. <laughs> that guy remembers. Why aren't you sitting over there with them? Oh, we don't get along. Who is she? Yeah. Are you part of the Blancherage? I started the Blancherage. <laughs> Ashley and Farrah just don't remember her or are forgetting her on purpose. So she sits over here all awkward. Like, why? <laughs> decided to put all the blondes on our best of Blancherage. She inherited it and tried Who to make is she? Oh, whoa. Melissa claims she started the Blondourage. She might have invented it, but Farrah and Ashley perfected it, okay? Which, uh, is this the Blondourage? <laughs> Do you know the secret, the secret Blondourage handshake? It doesn't matter because okay. in our oh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Wait, hold before on. all of this started, <laughs> She gets thrown off the stage. <laughs> Who would you say are true Blontourage alumni? Well, I would have to say, like, in the beginning, like, it was probably, like, Gia, me, and Ashley. And then Gia got eliminated, so we just, we're the core of the Blontourage. Would Brett maybe be a member of the yeah, Blontourage? Yeah, Brett definitely yes. is. Of course Brett is an honorary member of the Blontourage. I love it. Also, we love Ashley, but I'm sorry, that hair looks like a helmet. It is so super hairsprayed. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she looks like one of these dogs. This is the dog, this is Ashley. Do you know this, did you know the secret handshake? I, I knew of it. He knows, I, a, he knows a different kind of handshake that I taught him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the fuck would be the purpose of Rock of Love without us? Yeah. It got like so lame after we got eliminated. They're right, it did get lame after they left. What do you have to say about the time that the girls shared with each other? Hello. It many times when you weren't there. Yes, yeah, so I can't think of a man in his right fucking mind who's gonna say, we must stop this. I think, even though I knew some of went on behind my back. Natasha Mike a man. Wait, wait, wait. Call back to when they called Natasha a man. What a weird cutaway though. Natasha is like, uh -huh. wait a second. Are you into chicks? Of course I'm into chicks, and I'm into guys, and I'm into Britannia, you hot bitch. <laughs> Whoa, where'd that come from? I think she needs a touch-up. Oh. She needs some gloss. Hi-oh. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm listening. 
No way. I didn't even know that this was real. Didn't I? Say? Oh my gosh. Wait, listen. Ashley and Farrah are geniuses because they actually made a beauty line out of this. Blondirage Beauty. Here's the website if you want to check it out. I was pretty happy when I found this and I think I'm going to buy something. <laughs> Farrah and Ashley, we love you. A lot of the girls left the tour with a broken heart. But only one also had a pillow filled with sweaty socks. Let's take a look back at Britney's time on the bus. Now it's time for nasty, gross, yucky Britney. Out of Britney's bag. This is a oh my what the god. Fuck are those? She, she stole all those socks. socks. You got nothing right, and you got the fucking thing because you're Cause black. I'm you dance to get closer to my complexion, bitch. Yeah. Get the fuck out, bitch. Don't fuck with me. Don't, 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 don't fuck with me. I wish she would have gotten hit, but Natasha probably wanted to stay on the show. I tripped. I fucking tripped. The only reason you're here is because the bitch. I am a don't rich Don't pull that, bitch. You know, I can't stand trust white bitches like you. Thanks to that, that's bitch. That's all I got to fucking say. My grandfather's left. Brittany, come on up. <laughs> Okay, so Brittany tries to clear up why she was racist toward Natasha, but what she says doesn't make it any better, nor does it even make sense. Are you sorry that you brought up that whole black and white thing in your argument? Absolutely, and I was totally, it was totally uh, misunderstood. Brett Michaels only dated, usually, blonde haired, blue eyed, big busty girls. So I was under the impression that Natasha wasn't his type. What, what an idiot. <laughs> do you think that maybe Natasha, do you think maybe you're Brett's type? Well, who gives a fuck if I'm his type or not? If the question is, if he's mine, what, what guy wouldn't want me? You, you do Look at all this. What kind, hold on, hold on. Because, what kind, I do what? Wait, 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 wait stop. What? You do porn. And? This causes Natasha and Kelsey to start going at it. Hey, So that happened. Randy Ronchman gets back. <laughs> Randy Ronchman gets us back on track. In the end, Brett would choose between two very different women. I'm curious, Brett. Right. Ginger or Marianne? Ginger was sexy, but for some reason I just wanted to nail Marianne. I don't know why. I just okay. don't remember. So Ginger and Marianne are from the show Gilligan's Island. A plane! We're going to be rescued! which aired from 1964 to 1967. Ronnie here made the joke in 2008, so it was literally 40 years later. Who was this joke for? I'm not done, finish? Brett. I'm not done. Let's right. take a look. Let's look back at who should have won the show. Our girl, Mindy. I just cannot stop kissing him for even a second. How did my sweet Mindy know that Leopard is my favorite cat? I hope and pray that we will remain close in each other's lives, but the ring is not for you. Okay. Please join us. Jesus Christ, why? <laughs> Making out hard. Season one. Yes. You pick Jess, okay? Season two, Daisy is one of my best friends. But I think that Amber was the right choice. Right. Brett, I think you made the wrong choice. Rollo Fatman thinks Brett made the wrong choice. We all agree with you, Rollo. We are good friends. We're great and friends. I and the whole time, as soon as I watched the show and I saw what happened, my jaw dropped. And this is not a diss on Taya one little bit. I was just a little bit surprised and I... I'm sorry, I, I would have been mad at myself if I didn't say that. So I said it, and now let's move on. You can talk to me about it later. Okay. Let's hear from Mindy. Anyone can appreciate somebody who just is themselves. Just be real. <laughs> I just was completely open to whatever did happen when I was on the show. I was in love with you, and it really broke my heart. Damn, she actually tears up. Poor Mindy. She should have won. There hasn't been a single day that I haven't thought about you and missed you, and finally one day it hit me. I never just said... Yeah, I am so in love with you that I can't even see straight. It would have helped me, and I think had you said that, who knows how things would have turned out. They may have been different. 
We love you, Mindy. You're too good for bread anyways. Is your life different? It's different. Old Navy staff members want to pose for pictures with me, <laughs> which I find so endearing. I mean, it just every time I'm having a bad day, somebody makes me smile, and it just changes everything. All right, now it's the time we haven't been waiting for. Taya time. Let's take a look at the long road that led you and Taya together. Well, you look beautiful. You do. You're very sexy. You are modeled I before? I'm a penthouse pet. I'm sure you've probably seen my cover. I had a cowboy hat on. I think I may have seen your cover. Do whatever you want. How about I just show you my ass? Because that's that my favorite. That would be nice. Woo. Everything she does, I'm just like, ew. I just wanna I just wanna watch her fall off the stage a few more times. <laughs> Hope her taint's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Brett's Choice, Taya. Here's Taya. <laughs> Ashley and Farah turn their seats around. You look beautiful. Have a seat. Have a seat. We gotta sit both of us over here. Can we uh, sit? If you both want to sit there, that's fine. Here's something I was not aware of. Yes. Uh -oh. You were in penthouse. Shut up. I never knew. I didn't either. Hey, her eyebrows look slightly less comma shaped, so that helps her face. He asked me, what do you do for a living? I said, I take naked pictures. I wasn't planning on coming right out with it the first day, but that's just where the conversation went. The whole tour on the road and everything was very, very, very tough. And I think that Taya took a lot of punches. And I think she's a beautiful girl. No one agrees with you, Brett. I'm not Taya. I'm not inside her head. I never saw in her eyes what I was feeling in my heart about Brett. I felt smitten. I felt crazy. I was in love. And I just didn't see that in her eyes. Freaking poor Mindy. I think that she had an agenda, and the agenda was, I need to get what my heart tells me that I want. What mattered to me was also how people treat other people. And the one thing that I noticed about her was it, I felt that she treated a lot of the girls really great. Brett thought she treated a lot of the girls great. Give me one example, Brett. I'm waiting. I want to say this to everyone. It, it, you know, a lot of those shows out there, I'm going to say straight up, are bullshit. They're bullshit. And this show is a real show. It's very emotional. And in the end, it's my decision. What are you talking about? I, I told Mindy this straight up. I, I really love Mindy and I really love Taya. But in the end, Mindy and me didn't express it. Taya expressed to me how she felt. Yeah. And, and that, that swayed my decision. Oh, no. Ripple McBibble hints about the engagement ring that Taya got to choose. The ring for me was showing that I was sincere about what I was doing. Taya, what was going through your mind? Because that seemed to take it to a whole nother level. I realized I'm either gonna be really happy at the end of this or the heartbreak is gonna be traumatic. Kay is pretty much like, Whoa, well, it's me, I won and then I had to be alone afterwards. Shut up. If Brett had popped the question to you on that night, what would you have said? I would have married him right there that night. I think we got a date. I mean, it's been three months. I think we gotta go find and see if it's still there away from everybody, away from everything. I wish the two of you the very best of luck. Everybody, thank you very much. Bye. All right, so as you can probably tell, Taya and Brett didn't really get together after the show at all. And I've looked into it, but there's virtually no information other than they dated for just a little while. Like, it's, there's not even specific information. So part of me thinks they didn't even date at all. It was just all for TV. So yeah, Brett never did find love. But I think he was also technically married the whole time he was on the show. Or he was at least living with his child's mother. Now we're we're gonna get into a little segment I like to call There They Are Now. So since the show, Taya was actually in some movies apparently. Oh, by the way, I forgot and this is hilarious to me. Her name is Lori. So yeah, Taya Parker is like her penthouse name, I guess. <laughs> She's only 4'11"? What the fuck? She's like a foot shorter than me. That means Mindy is pretty short too. And so Brad must be short. Well, that just confused me, okay. 
Hi, cat. But yeah, it says here that Parker played the role of Stacy Phelps, the daughter of Clint Eastwood in the movie You Found Me in 2016. Now I looked up this movie and I don't see a single thing about it. And so is this movie even real or did this even happen? Like it's listed on her Wikipedia though, but the, I can't find the movie. And then she was also in a movie in 2013 called Pro Wrestlers vs. Zombies. I might have to watch that. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous. Oh, here's her IMDb. Oh, right. I was researching this before and I found this also. She was in a horror movie called Beach Massacre at Kill Devil Hills in 2016. And there's full on clips. Let's, let's check out a little clip just to get an idea of what this is. It, it. It definitely looks low budget. Let's see where any of the other ladies are. Ashley is very active on Instagram. She still uses it to this day. I'll link her Instagram down below so you can give her a follow if you'd like. She's still as entertaining as ever. So it's really hard to find any information about Mindy on the internet, which is totally fine. She kind of pulled a Jess from the first season and just dropped off the face of the earth. If anyone knows what she's doing these days and you want to update us, let us know. But we really liked Mindy, so I hope she's doing really well. I looked up her Tanya and one of the first things that comes up is her mugshot on TMZ. Rock of Love finalist jailed for pimp cup attack. I mean she wasn't a finalist, she left pretty early. She was in jail for six months for unleashing a bloody attack on another woman with a pimp chalice. Law enforcement sources tell us the deadly weapon was a pimp cup a la Lil John. Wow, wow, wow. Hey man, but she is all she is also on Instagram. She has like seven million followers. I'll link her down in the description if you want to give her a follow. And really that's all the girls I feel like looking up. Um Brittany, I definitely don't care about. Even though she was memorable, she's a piece of shit. Uh <laughs> Holy cow, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and being here and continuing to be here. <laughs> if you can count how many times I botched Ricky Rackman's name in the episode, you get a gold star. I can't believe this whole series is over. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm probably gonna make a compilation of all of the best and most ridiculous Rock of Love moments because I have so much quality footage saved up. Soon I'll also be announcing what show we'll be doing next. Next, so keep an eye out for that. Special thanks to my Patreon members who continue to support me. You guys are awesome and it helps so much. There's gonna be so much more content. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> See you soon, taters. Bye.